But there's certain things you can get from Chick Fil A that's not gonna be bad for you. So, Chick. So where's uh, uh, last year when we talked? You had your Philly Four. Where's Fats now? Uh, I keep forgetting the uh, countries in. But I, the country he is in, he's doing very well. I, I keep updated. I actually uh, was playing the game with him yesterday, so uh, <laughs> we uh, just chatted a little bit. But he's been dropping like a lot of big numbers and stuff like that. He's been uh, just working really hard uh, in the place that he is in now. So. You guys talk about the Eagles and the Phillies and all, all those gang teams? See, I'm, I'm not really so much of a okay. football guy, so okay. I don't really talk about it too much. But we were just talking about the uh, situations we're in now and the, situ in the past situations we were in and how different it is. So. Thanks, Dante. No problem. Dante, jumped in late here. I know you were kind of just talking about you know the transfer to your body. Coach talked about losing 30 pounds. But w what all did you do to kind of lose that weight, and how are you feeling now? Uh, it wasn't just me. Um, I had a number of people supporting me, like uh, Coach Kyle um, and my coaches and my uh, teammates as well. We, uh, as a team, did conditioning, and we all pushed each other to get better, and I even pushed myself harder just to make sure I was in the best shape and best form I could be in. And uh, just uh, trying to tidy up my uh, nutrition. Uh, Kyle really helped with that, trying to uh, talk to me and list off some things that I should be eating and some things that would be bad for me. And um, I mean, other, other than the eating better Chick-fil-A, like what other kind of stuff? Oh, so like... See, I still drink apple juice, but okay. he, he doesn't think it's too good for me because it has a bunch sure. of sugars in it. But, yeah, that's my that's my go-to drink if I'm going to drink anything, like, juice-related. I try not to drink soda, um, and I try not to drink all the juicy juice stuff type stuff. Uh, it's mostly water and uh, either Gatorade or stuff like that, or apple juice. But other than that, the other foods, I kind of pushed away the uh, Wendy's and kind of went more towards the... Um, Chick I'm mean, not the Chick Fil A. The um, why well, was just on my mind? Uh, more like quesadillas from uh, Tropical Smoothie, or like uh, wraps, Caesar wraps, and stuff like that, or um, Chipotle. Just getting bowls and stuff like that. So I try to push away the Popeyes, the Wendy's, and all that stuff, and try to just get those stuff that's also good, but also just healthier for me. So. I mean, you, you came into last year with some accolades, and you know, you're coming off a really strong sophomore season. You know, maybe you didn't have the junior season you wanted to. Obviously, you guys had a lot of stuff going on, you know, internally with coach, you know, being let go and everything like that. So, what, what, how are you feeling now? And, you know, do you feel like you're back to playing kind of more like you were sophomore year? And are you feeling better? And uh, yeah, I feel better. Uh, I won't know until I step on the court, but stepping into practice, going against each other every day, uh, I do feel more of like the guy that was a uh, sophomore-ish, but uh, I always felt like that guy. I just put, I, I had to put myself in place where I can move like that guy, so I had to get my nutrition right, like I said, and you know, just make sure my body was the best uh, it could be on the court. So. I mean, did everything that happened off the court last year, I mean, did that play a role in kind of maybe not meeting ex your, your expectations last year? Uh, I wouldn't say they meet a role, met a role, because a lot of this stuff, even if that stuff happens off the court, once you st step between these lines, all that stuff is for later on. All that stuff is after you leave this court. So that's a big thing on me, just having it to just step up to the plate and just uh, do what has to be done. So this season, I'm just coming prepared to know that there's things that have to be completed and missions that have to be done, and I'm just ready to fill and complete those missions with my team. So. How did Coach Willard win you over? Uh, I want to say Coach Willard won me over. I kind of just wanted to stay because I've been a turf for this long, and the atmosphere and the family base uh, from the fans uh, is still here. So, and then plus. I'm very loyal to my teams, like even AAU and high school-wise, I never transferred or never switched over from teams, so I pride myself on being a very loyal person uh, to my team, especially the people that helped me get to the place I am now. So the Terps helped me become the player, student, man I am today. So I didn't think it would be ideal for me to leave the place that I started to call home.
That's a great attitude. But I just wonder, I mean, what's the atmosphere like now in regard, you know, last year we know it was kind of tough for you guys. And what, what's, what has he done to, to make it more enjoyable so far this season? Uh, well, he prides himself on letting players actually play and just let them be themselves because at the end of the day, you're a player on the court. You're not a robot, so he basically just prides himself on letting you use the skills that we work on every day at practice and using the skills that you have worked on all your life. And uh, he doesn't get mad at the shots you he, – he'll get mad at some of the shots you take, but more of the times than not, he won't get mad at the shots you take because he knows those are shots you can make. So he always tells you, don't worry about that shot, worry about the next shot. And because these are shots that he knows you can take and know that you can make. So he has – a large amount of trust in us and the shots we uh, take and just letting us be ourselves and step on the court and show the world the talents and capabilities that we have. He seems to have a real desire to tap into some of the traditions here, the history, some of the stuff that made you want to stay. What, what's that been like and what kind of things have you noticed? It's been really good, especially him bringing uh, old players back in and uh, guys that used to be here, even not from, even if it's not from Two years, three years ago, it's guys from 10 years, maybe 15. Like, even guys that, when I wasn't even thinking about basketball, were here. Like, bringing those guys around to just throw a picture in our mind that, like, this is a place of greatness. And that even though we had our uh, ups and downs, we always can get back to greatness by the things we step on the court and do and by taking it step by step and day by day. Any of those players in particular mean something to you that you had got a chance to meet? Anybody give you anything that uh, you can use? Met Juan Dix. And, um, met a lot of met a lot of those guys actually, um, but a lot of those guys like Juan and um, why are these names just leaving my mind on the side? How, how much? But they 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 really helped us helped us out just talking to us and telling us like this is a place of greatness so let's get back to it. How much <clears> – <throat> I know Coach recruited you pretty hard out of high school. I mean, I, I think – I want to say, did you take an official visit there uh, to Seton Hall? Yeah, I did, actually. Yeah, so, I mean, how much did that help the transition, being that you kind of already had a relationship with Coach dating back to high school? I mean, it was nice knowing that somebody that recruited you before uh, is going to be your new coach. But even then, I've been here for three years, so uh, me – Meeting those people and taking those visits, it was like that was a long time, a long time ago. So I had to step towards the future and just see what he could bring to make me a better player and what he could bring to make the team a better player, a better uh, team. And just coming in for him, just knowing that he would be that guy that tries to bring us back into the light a little bit. So. Gotcha.